watching Good Day Austin on Fox 7. All right, welcome back. This morning, we've got tips for you on how to be the perfect holiday host this season with our etiquette expert, Diane Gottsman. I'm sure all of us have a little something to learn here this morning, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> we can all learn a little something, mm -hmm. so yeah. let's see how well we do this morning. Okay. First, a lot for me. For, okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, All right. Yeah. Put us to the test. Okay. This first you're on a limited budget and you invite only the number of people you can comfortably entertain. Your friend calls and asks if she can bring along her weekend house guests. Oh. You say... Well, I guess it's up to the host, right? I, I, I mean, if, if you really got it down to exactly how many people you are expecting to come right. and that will stress you out to have more, can you politely say, I'm, I'm sorry, it's a very... You win. Oh, wait, you win. Oh, that's the right oh. answer. Oh, so yeah. so A, yeah. that one. no a. problem. B, gosh, you know, can we have a rain check on this holiday event? Or C, chalk up the request to be in a close friend and welcome everyone to the party. Uh, You'd love for everyone to yeah. come to the party, but the reality is B is the answer. Oh, you've mm -hmm. carefully orchestrated the event. There's only a certain number of tables and chairs you've rented. There's only a certain amount of food. So just ask yeah. them if they wouldn't mind kindly making it another time. Could you could you do that, Amanda? Could you oh, be comfortable I, I, saying? Uh, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, I just, especially when you said that if you're having a, a dinner party and you've only got so many, and, yeah. you know, and if it's a really expensive dish like quail and, or, or. And four buffalo. extra guests arrive to right. your party, Zach. What are you going to do? I would say, yeah, they can come. They just can't drink and eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know. I wish we could all be the type of <laughs> people can that could just be like, yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah. But it's difficult when it's, you've planned a party out ahead of time. The reality is it just doesn't always work that right. way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Next up. When a guest is not RSVP'd, the host should ask a mutual friend to follow up so you don't put the invitee in an awkward position. True or false? Here is the key. Ask a mutual friend. True or false? Uh, true. You should do it yourself. False. Yes. Oh. You should just so reach out to the you person you invited. Hey, and yes. Exactly. Are you, Are you coming over? Yes. Just make the call I because if I ask you, Amanda, to call, it looks like I'm a little cowardly or, you know, or I'm, I'm nervous to ask. So I might as well just call and say, listen, did you get the invitation? Yeah. And yes, I did. Or can we expect to see you? Well, in, in yeah. this day and age, you can Especially probably text someone if, yeah. Yeah. if you don't want to really call. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. you should yeah. always RSVP, as Diane has yes. told us. So it's Within acceptable a week, right? then for the host to sure. check in and find out and why you have it. And if it's a huge party, if you have 500 people coming, you might need some help. What but kind of holiday just... party is that? <laughs> wow. It's not my holiday party. party. <laughs> 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 You're going to the Kardashians party? Yeah. yeah. I didn't say it was our party. I said sometimes big parties. But if it's just our party, which will probably have about six or seven people, we just need to call ourselves. There we go. Okay, next. A okay. host should always greet each guest at the front door. True or false? False. I say true. I, I say true. True. Oh, true. Yeah. So you need to be at that front door to open the door for your guests. But, you know, the reality is sometimes we can't do it. Yeah. Even so if it's we an get open, a, open house, people but, know you. But people don't really want to walk in the front yeah. door. Oh. So have no someone positioned at the door that you know mm -hmm. so they can welcome them in, say the bar is to the right, you know, mix and mingle. But don't just leave them at the door. You know that uncomfortable feeling where you're ringing the door yes. Yes. and yes. nobody hey. answers? Right. What do we do? Do or we walk party in the tonight? house? The party's yes. tonight, right? No. You don't know where to go. Yeah. <laughs> So okay. somebody at the Go door. to the backyard, <laughs> dog attacks you, like, oh, okay. that's horrible. <laughs> wow. Bad party experiences Zach has. Okay, okay. Uh, next. A host shouldn't feel obligated to accommodate a late guest by holding up the meal. True or false? True. Hmm. What do you think? I, I think I think you shouldn't feel obligated. You should right. yeah, not you should hold up go. the meal. Yeah. Yeah. Just go just ahead. Go. And when they arrive tardy, not nice. Here's dessert. Yeah, that's right. You you that's feed it. them wherever you, you yeah. two things. You can either feed them at wherever you are in the course. So if mm -hmm. you're in the entree and you've already had the the soup, mm -hmm. skip the soup, give them the entree. Mm -hmm. okay. Or if you're a dessert, give them some food before their dessert. You know, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But you don't, don't need to wait for them to start make your meal. Your, 500 guests, yes. <laughs> or in our case, seven, <laughs> wait because one person is late. Yeah, it's not fair. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, before guests depart, the host should offer to-go boxes oh. for all the delicious leftovers. Can we just say this is, should be true? It should be, but it it's should false. be right. I'm sure no, it's false. No, host is not obligated to give anyone <laughs> food. Yeah. They are not obligated. Now, no. sometimes, you know, they sell those cute to-go boxes yeah. that you oh. put all of your food, you know, the extra yeah. food in and send it along in the desserts. But that's just a perk. But that's you shouldn't not... force it on people, right? Right. Like, please take this. Yes, you need to take not, this. And a guest should not ask. 
No. So but can I'm, we say that that it would be a great little oh, uh, yeah, addition at a party? Oh, yeah, I would take it in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, yeah. that would be All great. But just leftovers. don't ask for it because then <laughs> yeah. the host really didn't want to give it to you. Yeah. It's tomorrow's lunch. Yes. Sure. Just let it happen. All right. Okay, A plus. You did well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, well, I did okay. Pass, and we all learned a little something, yes. I'm sure. Get ready for our 500 people. <laughs> I'm excited about that.